Hello and welcome to the channel. Uh, this is my second video. Uh, it's about three hours after making the first one, maybe, maybe two, I'm not sure. But I made the green screen video and in the meanwhile I've been working on some other things. And I was thinking about making a video uh, showing you guys how to upload your own filter. Like the actual process that I go through to upload a filter to Instagram or Facebook, uh, just step by step. So the program I'm using is Spark AR Studio, which is Facebook's program to allow you to make filters and effects for Instagram and Facebook, uh, the apps. Uh, I would also recommend, although we're not using them today, the Spark AR Face Reference Assets Pack, which is a bunch of uh, face meshes and uh, or image files and all kinds of things that uh, will allow you to create all kinds of different effects. Uh, I'm using GIMP not today in this video but generally when I'm editing images although Photoshop is available it's very expensive so I prefer this open source free program GIMP but yeah today we'll be using Spark AR Studio let's just jump into it I already have this program hi I'm here uh, I don't like videos <laughs> I already have this program that I made earlier so that's just set up here I'm not going to go into too much depth explaining what it is right now but uh, maybe in another video but for now I'll just show you what it does really quick so basically it takes this is the the standard image and then when you tap on the screen it cycles through a bunch of different colors uh, alternating between the foreground and the background and eventually it yep, comes back to the normal so that's the effect and I'm going to test it first I'm going to test it on my app and send it to my camera so you can send it to the Facebook camera if you're creating a Facebook app and the Instagram camera if you're creating an Instagram app I'm doing an Instagram app so I'm gonna upload that to the Spark Hub and wait and hopefully I'll get a notification on my phone yep which uh, I can click and Oh, here I am. Hopefully this is recorded. Let me just double check that. Okay, so it's recording now. I missed the notification, but this is the app in my phone. Testing it out, making sure that it all works. Yes, it does. Nice. So. Basically, yeah, you click this link, you get an app, you get a link sent to your phone. You also can have this test link, which you can copy and send to people directly so they can try it for themselves. If you have friends or family or other developers who you want to send it to, they can try it. There's a limit, but it's effective. I've sent it to a few friends, things I've made, and yeah, it's kind of cool. You get some feedback before things even go out there. But I'm happy with it. It works. There was the clip. I might show it. I might not. <laughs> Maybe, probably not because I missed the notification, but... Anyway, uh, next is upload. So that's right underneath. Uh, the 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 program determines whether the file is big enough. So it has to be within a certain range. For Facebook, it's 10 megabytes, and for Instagram, it's 4 megabytes. Most of mine are in the kilobytes because that's, that's, this is a simple effect. But you know, as you add more 3D models and assets and 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 maybe like uh, what are they, particle effects and things like that. The the the, st the, st the the memory that it takes up the file is much larger, so that's something you need to take into account. Uh, and then the capabilities, so that's just the everything oh, applies there. And that's a different video, I think, or another topic. And anyway, so you can publish as a new effect or update the existing effect. We're going to publish this as a new effect today, and it uploads. I'm using Safari as my default browser because I'm on a Mac. So when it's done, it should just open up the Spark AR Hub because I've signed into Facebook on Safari and it launches this little hub where you can go over some of the details. So this is the file, which is untitled. Uh, this is the profile that it will appear on, my Instagram account, which is there. Follow me if you like <laughs> or don't. It's perfectly fine, but my filters are on there. and. Uh, there are some things on there maybe that you'll see that I might make which I might make videos on in the next day or two and upload 
so keep an eye out or follow I don't know I don't know what I'm saying anyway back to this you could choose Facebook or Instagram we're on Instagram so there's my creator account is it a brand or product promotion no so just leave that unchecked and then you get to name your thing name your effect I'm gonna call mine primary RGB is in primary colors and then RGB because it's video digital whatever and then after that you need to take a photo I'll come back here so you can see me here for a second as well or maybe I won't <laughs> after that you can see me here you need to take a photo which will be your thumbnail image so for now this will do I think as a thumbnail because I'll change it maybe after I upload this video to something a little bit better you'll see it if you check out this video and then go to see my Instagram you'll be able to check out both so I take a thing take a photo and then I need a video so I'll do that hold down for a video tap through there's all the different effects colors oh look we did it twice because why not and now that we've done that tap through save those there's all the different effects colors oh look and now I'll come back over here because I'm going to stop recording this so that I can upload the videos, upload the files that I've just made or drop, uh, airdrop them to myself. I want, it's quite a quick process to be honest, this is all like in real time. Once it recognizes my MacBook though, that's the problem. There's a lot of stuff going on. I'm trying to upload this video at the same time. It's waiting. Yeah, so it has connected. Maybe I'll cut this, maybe I won't. I think I'm lazy. I'm already learning how to make filters. Uh, I, I think learning how to cut video is just a whole other thing. So yeah, we'll come into downloads. You see I've got a bunch of these where I've been doing we've been playing around with it. And then we'll come over here, drag and drop the file. We'll use this one. My lovely big head. Beautiful. So I don't need this for now anymore. And then agree to this, upload and continue. Are you sure? So this is just making sure that you agree that it's going to your personal account, that it's not a brand deal, that all the things that you've agreed to are what they say. And then we upload the files, that takes a second on its own. I can come back over here, say hi. Uh, yeah, this is a nice little bit of program. It's probably very simple to some people, but it took me a little while to figure it out and I was kind of proud when I did. So it's like, you know, I'm working on it, I'm getting better. So yeah, then once it's uploaded, you have a preview link, which you can send to anyone. It's the same pretty much as the link that you can DM to anyone. But uh, I guess maybe, I don't know, there's probably something different about it, but whatever. The next steps after that are to select a category. So you can choose from animals, cat, uh, camera styles, causes. So like if you want to support a cause like LGBT or you know some political movement, I guess you can do that on Facebook with an effect color and light which is what this is going to be there's also events fandom funny love mood sci-fi selfies surroundings weird and scary and you can just pause if you want to read any of those before you actually get to this page yourself we're going to go with color and light and then drag and drop the file which in this case is going to be this one wait for that to upload uh, and we'll look I guess it's, it's, it's quite a quick process this whole thing the actual uploading and uh, processing the, the, the thumbnail and the the video the demo video and things like that, that that's pretty much like a 10 15 minute process and then from here the actual uh, review by Facebook takes anywhere between two and two hours sorry two hours and like 10 days although they they, 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 they give you like 24 hours to 10 days as the sort of 
example guideline. But I found for the five or six photos that I've uploaded that it usually takes somewhere between two and six hours. That's, I think it depends as well on your thumbnail and your video and, and how well you you describe, uh, you categorize your effect because some sort of algorithm or a person somewhere is trying to interpret what you've sent and what you've submitted and figure out whether it's in the right category and whether it's supposed to be, you know what I mean? So you have to take those sort of things into account when you're going through this. We're almost done with the demo video uploading, 100%. Also, I'm not sure about the sound on this. I'm speaking quite loud, but the mic's probably closer than it should be. You just want to wait for the video to appear in full. Oh, sorry, I've got the hiccups now. So, yep, there's the video and there's the thumbnail. Like I say, these are temporary ones. I'll probably change them before they are fully approved, which you can do. You can edit parts of this. Submis sub submission before they're approved and after it's, it's, it's all just sort of fluid you can update effects and change thumbnails and all sorts after the fact so it's not a huge deal right now it's just a case of getting it to the point where it's being submitted and showing you guys how it's done or sh sort of myself as well but yeah anyway the video's up there's the thumbnail you can edit the thumbnail as well you can go through oh, which we'll do and choose from a bunch of still images that that I guess Spark AR Hub pre-selects, so I'll go with uh, I'll go with a nice red one because we've already got the green and the violet, so we'll go with red this time, and then next make active once approved, or you could set a start and end date, so you can have it like be a, a limited edition timed event type thing if it's for an event or a parade or. Uh, like a, I don't know, like a festival, whatever. So, but we're gonna make ours make active once approved. Click next. We're gonna tell this is the part where you have to describe what your filter does or what it is and why you think it's in the right category. So, for this one, we'll just say red, blue, green, color filter, foreground, background change on tap. And that will pretty much do it, I think. You don't need to explain in great detail how everything works. Just sort of brief summary with some keywords that either a person or, like I say, maybe an algorithm could pick up. And then we'll click Next. Brings us to this final summary page where you can go over the, the, the effect destination, Instagram, the name, primary RGB, which you can check out at my Instagram account, Sid Farmer, uh, in the category Color and Light. So if you search, if you go on Instagram under the browse filters section and search for primary RGB or for my name, my account will come up and you'll be able to search for, and you'll be able to see this filter when it goes live along with all the other filters I've already made and give me feedback because that's really what I want. I want to just like learn how to do this and get better at it and get some feedback from people so I can, you know, make cooler stuff because right now the colors are cool and it's getting a little bit more complicated but I can tell that there's so much left to do and I really want to do that and kind of like document it as I go I don't know I'm speaking a lot and getting out of breath I'm not very good at uh, timing that out so yeah the effect icon is here the file is here you can also download a copy of that file so once it's saved here even if you lose the original you can then download it and I don't know I don't know what format this is but you can do stuff with it and then finally we'll submit that for review. Are you sure? Yes. So now my effect is in review. Uh, you can go down and look at all these details again. Like I say, you can edit whatever it is that you might have forgotten the first time around. The thumbnail, oh, it's a little bit out of focus. So I need to change the color, whatever it is. Maybe you realize that there's something in the app, that in the, in the actual filter itself that you need to change, like for my green screen one. I uh, had to edit it because I had the opacity at 80% so the green screen wasn't fully effective because you could see part of the background it was still transparent so I had to go back in and update that so it's not too much of a deal if those sort of things happen uh, and then basically from here you close and it takes you back to the 
effects tab which shows you all of your live effects the ones that are in draft like this one I have here which I've been just sort of playing around with uh, the ones that are in review and yeah you click on them to get individual details so for this one it'll just bring you back to here but it's the same for all of them and that's pretty much it to be honest so that's how you upload uh, an effect to a uh, filter or an effect to Instagram and Facebook sorry for rambling again getting off topic like I said this is the first few videos I've been making and I'm kind of very excited about just making stuff with this app right now and there's so much stuff I want to make and I'm also trying to explain it so that I can look back at what I've you know sort of done I've, I don't know I'm trying to make these tutorials as concise as possible but at the end I was end up rambling what I'm saying is thank you if you're watching leave a like comment give me some feedback on the apps follow me on instagram i don't know subscribe and just generally have a nice day thank you <laughs> bye